My name is Enime Aduma. I'm the country vice president of the International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA Nigeria. I'm a private legal practitioner and I've been a member of FIDA for almost 25 years, whilst the beginning is International Federation of Women Lawyers. It's Federación Internacional de Advocadas. That's the Spanish word for FIDA because it was formed by a group of Spanish women several years ago who were called to the practice of law and they felt that um, they should assist indigent women. And that is how FIDA came into existence. In Nigeria, we are 53 years old and uh, currently we have 33 state branches in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And in all those states, we have free working legal clinics where um, indigent women can walk in and get free legal advice, uh, representation in court, counseling, and even sensitization on their rights. Okay. FIDA through the years has partnered with so many organizations, making our presence felt in several states, working with state governments, working with state house of assemblies, to ensure that laws that will promote and advance women are put in place in various states. FIDA has capitalized on the various international treaties and protocols, international platforms, to key into um, the world's assessment of what the life of women should be. Um, she has been involved in the adoption and even domestication of certain laws in Nigeria. Uh, today we celebrate the Child Rights Act. FIDA was very much involved. We talk about the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law. FIDA is also a key player in the adoption and implementation of that law. We have worked with several non-governmental organizations, international donors, to ensure that we carry out the work for the advancement of women. Um, specifically, currently, we are working with the Nigeria Stability Rehabilitation Program, NSRUP, um, a branch of um, DFID, British Council, and um, the purpose of that project is to provide legal services for women in two IDP camps, one located in Yobe State and another in Borno State. We've also partnered with the National Democratic Institute um, to provide counseling and legal services for women involved in elections. Um, the project has also led us on to understand the kind of violence that is perpetrated against women specifically. And it has exposed us um, to the fact that we have to work closely with the institutions that conduct election or are involved in election to ensure a violence-free election for women. We have conducted this project in Ondo State, Bielsa State, Kogi State. We carried it out in off-cycle elections um, for governorship. And we hope that the project will be expanded to other states in 2019 when we have elections all over the country. By virtue of the, our program with the National Democratic Institute, we are hoping to formulate laws to present to State House of Assemblies that will stop or, or reduce the kind of violence perpetrated against women during elections. We also have collaborations with the French Embassy and the Australian Embassy and these two embassies have provided funds for FIDA Nigeria to provide free legal services, court representation, counselling for women that have been violated in their homes, surely domestic violence. And so they funded this project in about 12 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And FIDA has concluded these two projects and we have our reports and analyses. Some of the cases went through court, some were settled whilst we were in court, and uh, some are still ongoing. We also um, organized programs to build the capacity of women to participate in governance, to participate in developmental projects. We build their capacity to ensure that they are able to focus on their well-being and their development. 
We teach them also how to multitask, especially in the changing world of work. Um, we're currently um, preparing a proposal that will enable us to reach out to all the branches to also begin to build the capacity of our women on how to operate in the economic recession that we currently face. We have the International Federation of Women the University Branch. We present this check of 45,000 in support of the children's students. Thank you very much, Fidas Rivers. I appreciate it. Fidas' existence in the last 53 years has not been without challenges. Um, our main challenge is the challenge of funding because in the various states where we are located, we are located in the state capital and our challenge has been on how to ensure that our services reach the grassroots. And then for our services to get to the grassroots, we need funding. Uh, besides that, we also have the issue of culture. In some states, we've been able to ensure the adoption of certain laws. But the testing of those laws in the courts have not been forthcoming because of the culture of silence which the Nigerian woman wears like a toga. Um, we need to break that barrier and so we know that we need to do a lot more sensitization than we have done to ensure that we build the confidence of the Nigerian woman um, to understand that whatever laws are in place should be exploited and FIDA will provide necessary legal services. FIDA Nigeria has a lot of prospects. We have worked with several organizations. We have the capacity to assist women positively. We have the strength in terms of numbers. Currently we have a membership of 2,500 female lawyers. We have worked with several agencies um, carrying out our projects in line with the Memorandum of Understanding and so we know that in future we'll do much better than we're doing today. It is on this note, in line with our achievements, that FIDA Nigeria is holding its first ever session at the Commission on the Status of Women in the United Nations. This is the 61st session, and for the first time, FIDA Nigeria will hold its own parallel event. And the theme for this year's event is the women's economic empowerment in the changing world of work at the cold face of economic recession. We are keen into this theme because it is very essential to what is happening in Nigeria today. Yes, we are at an economic recession, we accept that. But how are we going to continue to develop women within that economic recession? The platform will enable us to speak about the two kinds of work sectors in Nigeria, the formal sector and the informal sector. We want to use that opportunity to see how we can bridge the gap between the two sectors we can provide solutions on how the women whose time is unaccounted for can be assisted and helped. Thank you.